When you think of Detroit, you think of America. It's real people. Hard as fuck people. You know, you don't, you don't get much harder. Talking about the car industry, I mean, you had Motown, you had hardcore. It's where all the soul, that's like the soul of America when it comes to music. It's really getting rock and roll. I mean, the whole thing was all about, you know, growing up in Detroit. The MC5 was one of my bands. And Iggy got his start here. Every fucking band was pissed off. Detroit has a definite, definitive hardcore sound. Coldest Life, hardest fucking band I'd ever seen. The kid came to a show and was acting like an idiot. It's like, no, you don't do that. And we're going to show you why. Ron wasn't really a bully, in other words. He was more of an enforcer. Dude just was so beat down by Ron. His jaw, his jaw was hanging. He was destined to go after him because, you know, he's fucking with his boys. He didn't let anybody, anybody, come in from the outside that no one knew and do whatever they wanted to do without answering to him first. Rumors about Coldest Life, 90% of them are fucking true. I think it's the urban blight. I think it's kind of like this hopeless feeling of just being stuck someplace that's decaying. When you grow up here, you have to adapt or you're gonna end up dead. He's just one of fucking 600,000 unsolved cases that are out here. Shot him in the sleep, you know, three times in his fucking head because you didn't have no fucking balls. You're out there, Rich Wurstein. We're going to find you. Cold as life is Detroit, and Detroit is cold as life. Would have killed your punk ass, can't touch me, soul your mouth. Shit. Dude, anytime I got mad, I listened to that song like three times a day. Anger, you know. And it's kind of just a sick feeling all the time. I have a kid, and the best place to put it was, uh, was up there on a the stage. We were all American kids. Like, this is our rock and roll. This is our statement to the world. We're cold as life every day of our lives.